you mentioned Edwin Hubble and the way that he saw the red light shift and uh, saw that the universe was not just expanding, but, the, the, but expanding very fast away from itself, that the Big Bang had not stopped. Uh, Lawrence Krauss, great physicist, probably the next Nobel Prize winner, has uh, noticed that most of people's assumption was wrong, that though this expansion was taking place, it was thought, the rate of speed of the expansion must surely be declining. People still think in Newtonian terms in this way. No, says Krauss, he's pointed it out and now it's agreed by all. No, the Hubble rate of red light shift is increasing. The universe is dissipating itself at high speed and the speed is getting greater. What does this mean? Well, it answers the question of why is there something instead of nothing? Because now we have something. We're all here because there's something. And nothing is coming right for us. Very soon, a physicist wouldn't be able to tell the Big Bang had ever taken place. So far sprung apart will the whole system be. And meanwhile, look in the sky at night, and you can see the Andromeda galaxy headed straight for ours on a direct collision course. Who designed that? Who made it certain that every other planet in our solar system is either too hot or too cold to support life, as is most of our own planet, and that in just one tiny, irrelevant solar system already condemned to heat, death, and implosion. Some design, wouldn't you say? But these are just the paltering minor objections that I have to the theistic worldview. The main one is the one with which I began. Religion, theism, not deism, theism I, un I underline. Theism says that all our manifold problems, what is the good? How shall we live it? How shall we know it? How to explain suffering? How to, how to confront the possibility of our own perhaps molecular irrelevance. All these questions uh, that must disturb and detain us all can be solved by referring them upward to a totalitarian judgment, to an absolutist monarch. The other thing that the Virginia Statute on Religious Freedom was supposed to uh, rebut, repudiate, disown, yes, uh, I promise you, 30 seconds. Uh, there is no totalitarian solution to these problems. There is no big brother in the sky. It is a horrible idea that there is somebody who owns us, who makes us, who supervises us, waking and sleeping, who knows our thoughts, who can convict us of thought crime, who can do thought crime just for what we think, uh, who can judge us while we sleep for things that might occur to us in our dreams, who can create us sick as apparently we are, and then order us on pain of eternal torture to be well again. Th to demand this, to wish this to be true, is to wish to live as an abject slave. It is a wonderful thing. It is a wonderful thing, in my submission, that we now have enough information, enough intelligence, and I hope, enough intellectual and moral courage to say that this ghastly proposition is founded on a lie, and to celebrate that fact. And I invite you to join me in doing so. Thank you.